Gangways bridge the gap between ship and shore to allow passengers or cargo to be loaded or unloaded. They're also known as gangplanks, hearkening back to the days when these bridges were simple wood planks. Today, telescopic gangways extend and retract automatically. Telescopic gangways can extend their reach or shorten it and change the angle too. They'll also fold up for compact storage on the ship. These are gangways that can adjust to different circumstances. Each model starts with a computer design, one that takes an engineer up to 800 hours to devise. Once all the details have been worked out, production begins. Using a crane with air clamps, they transfer an aluminum plate to a laser cutting station. The gangway design has been loaded into a computer that guides the tooling to cut out parts according to the plan. In this case, it cuts out a panel that will be made into a framework for one of the gangway planks. Workers then serve up the panel to a computerized brake press. The press bears down on the part to make 90 degree angle bends. This transforms the flat panel into the plank framework. Next, tools carve thicker aluminum into hinges for raising and lowering the gangway. A drill bores a hole in each hinge for the pin. With another bit, the machine sculpts a countersink profile around the hole. They're now ready to assemble the hinges and other components to the plank framework. A worker positions a reinforcing bracket on the framework. He clamps the bracket to a hollow metal cube to keep it correctly aligned to the framework. He welds the bracket to the framework from the inside and then assembles another bracket to the other side. He slides a metal subfloor into the top grooves of the gangway plank structure. This subfloor will support teak wood decking. He inserts flat bars between the framework and the subfloor to create a space for the installation of the teak. He welds the rails to the plank structure and then adds supports for wheels. The thick welds look a bit unsightly, so a worker grinds the seams smooth. He also abrades the entire metal structure to give it a brush texture that paint will adhere to. Painting is an intensive process. They prime each gangway plank body three times with sandings in between. They also give the planks three coats of paint. This particular gangway is being custom made for a luxury yacht. After assembling the teak decking to the planks, a detail person sands the surface. This ensures that the synthetic rubber caulking between the planks is flush to the wood. He caulks the space between the decking and the metal plank structure using more synthetic rubber. With a putty knife, he scrapes off the excess and forms a neat concave profile. After a 24-hour cure, he removes the tape that's protected the metal frame and wood decking during the caulking process. They're now ready to assemble the planks into a gangway. They move the upside down planks into position and then drive thick pins into the hinges to attach one plank to the next. He then installs the hydraulic cylinder that powers the folding mechanism. He links it to the hinges with a long thick pin. He equips one section of the gangway with telescoping hydraulics that allow the gangway to extend and retract. He runs the hoses for the hydraulic fluids through the gangway into the cylinder, and he installs locking valves to ensure the cylinder stays in position when a load is applied. The gangway is now completely assembled. They secure one end in a thick concrete fixture to simulate the weight of the yacht it's been made for. This allows them to fully test the telescoping action and the load-bearing capacity. Seven months in the making, 
This gangway is now ready to go to any length to link ship to shore.